Just about 2011. Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Bob Revolution SE 2011. The new Bob is so sophisticated that sometimes at Baby Gizmo we like to call him Robert. Well, we like to call it Robert. Um, it's a brand new stroller for 2011. It has a lot of changes, so we're going to go through them. Let's take a look. Now let's go through the changes real quick before we get into all the specifics of the bob. Um, first, the canopy has a different way to adjust it to make it smaller. It has a new high-tech fabric and it has a lot more support in the seat. It has a different wrist strap. It also has a different recline, has more um, choices because it's an infinite recline as opposed to the two of the previous models. It also has a little bit different suspension system and um, that's about it. Let's get um, more into it. Now let's talk about a seat. Well, I mean, it's seat. First, it has this more high-tech fabric, as you can see, and there's a lot more support in the seat. There's even like a little back support here. So a lot more um, you know, high-tech fabric, and this footrest is different, so this is a lot easier to clean down here. It has a padded five-point harness, and what's great is the harness is easy to adjust for your growing child. You just have to slide up the... Um, the thing and you don't have to re-thread it which is really nice it has a buckle it's a one-touch buckle you know us we don't like the one-touch buckle because our kids try to get out you know mid-ride and that's not cool because it just it's as easy as popping the button so we'd like to see a little bit you know tougher of a button um, it also has a recline let's show you the recline in the back it's a two-handed strap system um, but it's an infinite recline it doesn't go all the way flat so they're going to recommend it um, Bob recommends it from eight weeks and up but not, definitely don't jog um, with a child until they're eight months um, since the seat isn't flat, I would recommend it from six months and up, um, unless you're using the car seat adapter, in which you can use it from birth. Um, it's a two-handed strap recline. You just have to loosen the straps, and anywhere you stop is where that's how much recline. And it goes all the way back to there. So that's a pretty deep recline, just not enough for a newborn to be in the seat. Now the seat, it's roomy. It's 14 and a half inches wide, so this is a really wide seat. It has a 21 inch seat back, which is pretty tall, but the, the seat back to canopy measurement is only 23 inches. Now the seat has a 70 pound weight capacity. That's a very large child. Just to let you know, um, your, your really tall older kids are gonna hit the canopy eventually, but as you can see, our 19 month old tester, very comfortable in the seat. Even our four year old tester, while he's approaching the canopy, he's still very comfortable. So this is a large roomy seat. And on the side, there are two small mesh pockets so that your child can um, bring a sippy cup or maybe snacks or toys along with them. And what's new for 2011 is this accessory bar. If there is a car seat adapter or an actual snack tray that you can buy separately that just snaps right on the front, um, so that's going to make it easier. Now let's talk about canopy. The canopy on the bottom. It's huge. As you can see, this is full sun protection. And it has a very large peekaboo window. Only thing is, and it has a cover. Only thing is, we would change the Velcro and make it a magnetic closure so it's not so loud. Let's say our child is taking a nap inside. I don't want to wake him just to kind of take a peek. But it's a huge peekaboo window, which I really like that. And these straps right here, it used to be a cord. Now it are, are Velcro straps. And this is going to allow you to bring this, the canopy back so that it's, um, if you just needed some sun protection, but you still wanted a nice clean look. Another addition on the 2011 is when you roll the cover of the peekaboo window up, there is a pocket up here to allow you to tuck that inside and so that it stays open and it still looks nice and clean, yet you can see it in, at your child. Now the handlebar on the bob, it's not adjustable, but it is 40 inches from the ground to where I place my hands. And it is quite far out from this um, stroller, so I have no problem jogging with the stroller without having any contact with the frame whatsoever. There is a wrist strap, and this is changed for 2011 as well. It used to be on the bottom um, bar here, and we're not quite sure why they changed it, because in our mind it is safer than if it's on the bottom, because if it's connected to my wrist, and I am happen to be running and I fall, the whole stroller is going to come down with me as opposed to if it were attached to the bottom, I would just fall, probably hurt myself, but the baby would be fine in the stroller. Now the wheels on the bob, they are rugged, they are air-filled tires. This front one, it's a 12-inch air-filled tires. Now I do want to note, they didn't give me the air pump, and you know how I like the air pump included so I can throw it in the basket just in case, you know, I get a flat or they need a little air. So I would like that added, um, but this is a 12 inch swivel wheel so it's going to give you the best maneuverability around the tightest corners but if you want to use it for sport use if you want to take it on the trail um, you know when life starts to get a little bit bumpy on you you want to lock that front wheel and it's easy as just flipping that 
and that is going to lock it into place for sport use. So that's really great. And there's also a tracking on it. And this is going to, you adjust it. If the stroller starts to veer as you are using it, you will adjust the tracking and that's going to keep it going straight. Now the rear wheels, they are large. They are 16 inches. These are great for light jogging. They don't say it's a full time jogging stroller, but they are great large tires in the back. They also have a one touch brake bar. All you do is flip that lever down. That's going to lock the stroller into place and lift it up with your toe and that's going to unlock it. These rear wheels are also very easy to remove so that when you fold it, it becomes a more compact package. Let's talk about storage on Bob. He has a large mesh pocket on the back. That could be for parent essentials or baby essentials. And there's a pretty large basket underneath. That's a, it's pretty large for an all-terrain stroller. I can get my diaper bag. I do have to squish it a bit. But the diaper bag does go in and it stays in there. So it's a really nice basket and I can't access it from the side as well. Now Bob's maneuverability is smooth. He is smooth like butter. This is so easy to maneuver. I can maneuver it one-handed. He glides along with very little effort, even with a larger child aboard, and it has a great suspension system. It's state of the art. Um, it has two different positions. This is the position for up to 40 pounds, and that's going to absorb the bumps. Now if you have a larger child from 41 to 70 pounds, you change the suspension and you move it back to there, and that's going to accommodate a larger child. Now when you do fold the stroller, it is going to to default back to the position one every time. So just so you know, if you're using it with a larger child, you might want to adjust the suspension each time. Now the fold is two-handed, very easy to do though. Put back your canopy, lift up both levers on the handlebar, push the handlebar forward all the way. There's now a red strap, you're going to pull that up and it's going to collapse down. And it also has a strap lock. This is new. It used to be um, that you had to use the wrist strap and velcro it around. Now there is actually a clip and you just clip it together. Tighten it up and that's going to keep it locked closed for transporting. And like I said, you can also remove these tires for even more compact package for smaller trucks. So that's a pretty compact package for such a rugged stroller. Now Bob, he weighs only 25 pounds, he's very sturdy, um, but it's very easy to get him in and out of my trunk with no problem. Unfolding him, very easy, unlock the strap, lift up on the handlebar, give him a quick shake, he pops into place, good as new. One more thing I want to add is the Bob, it's a little bit wider than your standard single stroller. It has a 25 inch wheelbase, but that gives the stroller awesome stability. Um, so we didn't find it a problem, we just wanted to mention it. Now the Bob Revolution SE 2011 has so many great features. We love all the new added features. We love the fact that they added all that extra support and the new high-tech fabric in the seat. You know, we, we love that they kept the canopy gigantic. Um, we love that it's so easy to fold, it's so easy to transport, and it is great for sport use. And this is the review of the Bob Revolution SE 2011 by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com. That was the Bob Dude Checky Ladle. For even more Baby Gizmo up-to-date news, reviews, and giveaways, visit our blog at RatedByMom.com.